controlling an RGB LED using a button. So this is lesson three of our series with the Pi Pico. So let's get started and we'll see that how the circuit is made and then we'll code it. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my Raspberry Pi Pico. I'm gonna plug it in just like that. Remember to not put it like this, but put it like that. Right in the middle because it's easier to do and it's much easier with space. So let me press it down as much as it can go. Okay. So unlike the previous video, now it's getting nicely in to the breadboard because it's been in there a couple of times. So I'm going to be using our card to get my... GPIO pins right at the first time. So now let's connect our RGB LED and our button. So let me put this to the side and grab my RGB LED. So an RGB LED is red, green and blue. It can go any colour. So it's unlike the normal LED, it, this LED has two pins. But this one has four. So now let's connect this. So I'm going to give you the circuit diagram in the description down below. So let me just get the button. So yeah, I'll take this one. It's fine. So any button will do. And we're also going to get a couple of jumper cables. Okay. So I think it can be any colour, it doesn't really matter, it's just a cable. Okay, so now let's start assembling. Let me turn this around. So first, what we're going to do is connect the RGB LED. So let me separate out the legs. So... Okay, like that. And then I'm gonna, just going to plug it in uh, around like this place. Let me get it so it's a bit more easier to put on. It'll take some time because this is a new RGB LED and it's going to take some time to get it right. Okay, so now that's nicely in. Now I'm going to connect the RGB LED to the Hypico. So the first leg will go to the pin over here. So I believe that pin is GPIO 617. So and then we're going to connect the... So that's the blue. So actually, no, don't worry. So I'm going to get now... I'm going to get... Let me get another jumper cable. So I'm now going to connect the third pin so I'm going to connect this third pin to pin 16 to GPIO 16 like that and I am going to connect the fourth pin to the ground I'm pretty sure yeah so no not ground red so this is the red value so i'm going to connect that to pin 15. so i'm going to connect it just over here so that's our no i have to do our ground but i mean our five volts so i'm going to get another jumper cable from the second pin I'm going to connect the second pin to the 
plus value and I'll jump a cable like so and then I am going to oh no wait this should not be there this should be a resistor so let me just get a resistor really doesn't matter which and I'm going to put it to 5 volts and now I am going to get the negative rail and I'm going to connect the negative rail to ground so ground is that one and the positive rail to 3.3 volts okay so now we've done the led now we should do the button so i'm going to get the button and i'm going to place it just over here oh and the pins are a bit dodgy so let me just place it uh, actually i think i should get a new button this is not ideal So I'm going to get a button and I'm going to place it just over this gap, just like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the plus side of it, which is the left hand side for me, into the, let me see, the pin next to pin 15, so pin 14. So I'm going to do that, so I'm going to connect, uh, use the button and by pin 15, no, 14. And what I'm going to now do is connect the other one to the negative rail. Positive rail, I mean. So let me actually, I don't think I need the ground because there's nothing on that rail. So just for us purposes of keeping it more neat i'm just going to take out that one so that's our circuit done so now let's get into coding so now i have my rgb and button project i'm going to do the same as before i'm going to hold down the boot select button and i am going to plug in the Pi Pico and now it says that it's been detected so now I'm gonna open Thony the preferred editor and I before I do that I wanted to show you the github which has all our code that we're gonna be doing in this series so please check that out that's gonna be in the description down below okay now let's carry on so now let's um, open the file on the Raspberry Pi Pico and we're going to open one of the projects PWM, not PWM, that was the previous one RGB button. So what it does is we're doing the same as before machine but now we're using uTime so now we're going to use button equals to the pin 14 which is the pin just before the 15 so we have our RG and B values in the pins and we're basically doing a while loop and it's basically doing if the button is one value if it's on if you press it then it will do this sequence R, G and B so now let's run this code so let me just configure this. You you can do another code for configuring, but I choose not to. It's going to take some time, sorry. Okay, so... Ah, okay. So... 
basically what I'm doing is because it started off with green, I'm trying to get it to stop at when it's blank. So So it's after blue, so Okay, let me get to you when I done it. Okay, so now I've got it working. So let's just get it there. Okay, so yellow, blue, green, and then yellow. And then when I do it again, yellow, blue, green, and then yellow. So I, I think let me get a nice close up view. So the colours are much better. So now yellow, blue, and then green. Let's do that again. White, yellow, blue, green, and then yellow. So now we've seen that working. So now we've used the RGB LED and a button to add to our knowledge with the Raspberry Pi Pico. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like and share for more content like this. Please subscribe and adios.